Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Factorio. And we are back and we are going to work on some more research today. I think I'm just going to cut a new line down here and do it. Uh, but we're going to start working on the green research, which is is a little more complex. Um, you need to have inserters and transport belts. Well, we've automated transport belts, but it's not the ones Maybe the audios I want to do. Screen? Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to try to automate these, and so it'll be interesting. And uh, they're going to require electric circuits, so usually what you would want to do, if you want, it's up to you, no one's telling you have to do something, uh, but uh, usually what's recommended is that you first work on the circuits, then you work on uh, the rest of it. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? It's been a while since I've done these, but I think I used to go like, oh, I don't even remember anymore. It's like a two to one something, or a three to one, or a four to one, or I oh, will figure it out. I usually did something like this, and then I have one, I think, like this, like this, like this. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so you got that one to that one to this one. And then you got one here, I think, and one here. Why does that seem not right anymore? So you got that one to that one, and then... Oh man, something's off here. I used to do this fine. Maybe we should read what the uh, tip is. Actually, if we place this, it'll tell us anyways, I think. Uh, okay. Oh, no, maybe that was a bad idea. So iron plate and three copper cables. But to make this, okay, so three copper cables. But to make a copper cable, I think it was two per that time. So you ended up wanting two. So it's like, okay, so this would give you four at a time, right? Which would be too much. And that's when you shared it. Actually, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe those are supposed to be close. So this would be shared with this guy. Ah, okay. I think that's what it is. Okay. I told you it was something. Uh, so, yeah. This guy would go from here to here to here to here. So this would do six, and there's two there. And that's the right math, I think. One, two, three. Sometimes it takes a minute to remember something. I haven't played for a while, so... And these kind of things you do like once and you kind of forget, especially if you make a lot of them when you first play. Um, but yeah. There you go. So, I'll just do another set, I guess. Can't hurt, right? There you go. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to do wires here. Um, there it is. And then circuits. There you go. And of course from there we can do whatever. Uh, so, uh, we're going to have to bring, we'll probably just feed the copper, a new copper line up here. Instead of taking there. You don't, you want to basically have this on its own highway, honestly. Because, <laughs> just trust me, it'll get messy later on. So we can just go right across and fix it later. There you go. And then the iron plates have to come up here. 
So I'll have those feeding up here. Now, I usually do a different setup for this, and I gotta remember how I used to do it. I used to make it a little more exciting, and I think what I actually did was buffer this out one further. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um... One of the reasons was some of these, another reason was, uh, balancing on the belt. So, we have to work on that, I guess. We'll bring it out this far. And this is to output. Oh yeah, this, is, this will be to output it. And so what we'll do is... This one will be here, this one will be here, this one will be there, this one will be here, this one will be there, this one will be here. And then these ones will output to here, to here, and to here. And these ones will output like here, here, and here. And then we'll insert our iron here, here, heel, 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 and heel. And uh, to do that, we're going to need some of these guys, which... Uh, Basically goes under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, something like that. And for now, I guess, actually, no, we wouldn't want to do that. We can curve this, though. There we go. I think that's roughly how I used to do it. Starts kicking in to gear when you slowly remember it. There we go. Miss the old days when you used to lose like the compression or whatever they called it on the edges, but you don't do that anymore, so or lose that anymore, so it's not a big deal. But back in the day, every time you go over an edge, it was actually a bad thing. But that doesn't exist anymore. So there we go. Uh, then we can start putting some power lines in here. Yeah. So, um, what am I doing wrong now? These aren't running. How come? Oh, we haven't even grabbed any off the belts. Like, ah, why is this not working? I was like, kind of odd that I was like, I didn't even have to put a wires up here. I usually felt like I had to put more uh, power lines up here for some reason. It's like this is just going off too easy. There you go. There are my small circuit factories up and running. Yeah, small. Well, actually, it is for overall, but for starting, it's really big. Is it? Oh, I used to make it bigger. I thought I'd just, you know, start small this time. I don't know. I, I find it big for just, like, a starting circuit production. Well, at least the girls will be happy, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we'll just buffer it for now. Actually, we'll buffer it off the side like this until we use it. And even then, it's nice to buffer it. Okay, so there we go. We got the circuits done. Now the next thing you would want to do is inserters. Inserters, well, they're not too bad. Uh, they require gear and iron plate, which is not bad. Um, and you could do this on its own little setup almost, which is nice. Uh, so we're just going to have to bring in some iron over here. Now you could split over here, which is up to you, or you can continue this down. I'm going to say it's probably worth actually doing it um, on its own. Yep, I have automation too. Thank you, friend. Da -da -da -da. But 
he is correct. Um, because I believe... Actually, I don't even know if it's that, is it? No, I think it just requires a period. Oh, no, because it requires three slots. Uh, no, I haven't really paid attention to Mad stuff. His stuff is good, but, like, personally, I just do my own thing and then later on optimize more. I've learned some techniques, of course, here and there, so I can't say this is all my design. But I, I do like doing uh, my own thing for a while. And then I kind of optimize later on. Okay, so, I'm um, sorry, uh, I was thinking here. So we're going to do inserters here. So we need iron, 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 iron and circuits, basically. So that's that's pretty simple. I think I'm going to actually run a new line here. I'd rather have brand new lines. Now you might want to bring this down just slightly, just because you might want to, for some reason, have a second line in there for whatever stupid reason later on. Um... Well, that's cool. There you go. I hope I didn't use all my gray factors. I didn't want to really use them up right now. I wanted to be poor. Use gray factories. There you go. Nothing silating, so I guess I did use them all up. This music, it's, it's amazing. Uh, did I get an email from somebody? Okay. So moving on. Um, we're going to grab this. We're going to throw it over here. This is going to be its own little weird thing. I don't care right now. But uh, this one will be gills. Sorry, I always lose where the hell things are. Actually, I wonder if they reposition some stuff around. Okay, gears and uh, what were we even making again? You're an idiot. It was just gears, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, the inserter. So, yeah, gear in the plate. Oh, okay, I guess we could do it here then. And then what we can do here is put a split off actually right here for now. Eventually we'll expand this. So this might be more of a temporary thing than that at most, but it doesn't matter. I'm just doing what I want to do. Just be crazy. You might want to go like that. There you go. And then we'll grab from the edge. Okay. Uh, do, 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 there we go. And uh, this will be Sota. It's not quite exactly what I was planning, but I just like, I think I had something else in my mind, like the conveyor belt or something instead, and all of a sudden I was like, eh, whatever, this will be what it is now. I definitely derped up. It wasn't, I wasn't quite planning to do what I did, but it, it happened. Funny thing is, this is probably fast enough for research. Once you upgrade these and put faster inserters and stuff, in the end, just the one is usually quite fast enough to keep up with your research, especially me, who buffers them up a bit and then forgets it quite often. Um, it's not so bad, so. Where's the other people? Oh, I didn't see your uh, comment there, Nathan. I'm not sure if you're still there, but two of them are still online, uh, Pike and DJ, and then myself. Um, here's... Uh, DJ's base, but we have a bug right now. We can't visit anyone's base because I can't get anyone to fix the script. The script, somebody changed something in Factorio, and now I can't do anything, and I can't play with my friends, so. So that's it. Unfortunately, I have to wait till somebody is willing to fix up the script. I posted on the Factorio forums, but I don't know. If anyone likes to comment on them, they can, but not like that's going to help. It sucks, though, because without it, we can't do anything. We're all enemies now. But what that's supposed to do is make people friendly. At least it did before. Okay. 
Um, wait, did you put the iron in? Oh yeah, you're full on the uh, inserters. Okay. Thought something like that might happen. Oh yeah, we could have just taken the free inserters out of there too. Okay, so we take those and we're gonna dump them there. And then... No, we won't buffer them there. Eventually I will buffer them. Actually, I probably won't buffer this one. I'll probably make another set of... Well, we'll see. I used to do that. Hmm. This is a pretty tight squeeze. We could always move this so anyways later. Um, okay, so we got the those guys. Now what we need to do is... Actually, this is a dumb squeeze. We're going to have to move this later. This crafting speed upgrade is actually pretty nice. Nice. I'm happy that you're happy. You know, I could have probably kept half of that there, by the way. <laughs> no. Actually, we could go further, too, actually. Let's do that. There was no need for us to be jam-packed in that spot. There we go. Hey, Pike. Your happiness is my happiness. That leg is going to get somebody punched in the face. I didn't mean to. I feel like that wasn't me that time, but that was horrible lag. <laughs> so apparently don't use the water be gone. Water be gone? What is that again? I don't know. But no, apparently you... it's... I just wanted to see what it did. Apparently don't do it. Water be gone's fine to use, no? You need a lot of landfill, and if you don't have it, it starts spamming. What do you mean start spamming? When you click it, it clicks like a million times. What? Where is this water be gone button? I don't see it. It's the in the basic logistics crafting thing. It looks like a a, a do not thing, like a. Oh, thing. I've never ever ever used that before. I've always seen it there, but I've never made it. But I've used landfill, and I do it manually and stuff. Like, but I've never. It basically fills. The entire body of water using oh. as much landfills as it can. Okay, so you basically have as much inventory full of landfill, and then you click that, and it just, like, basically fills in a lake or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you did that. you don't have enough. So is that what that you... little leg was when it was trying to run? <laughs> yeah, it was trying to run, but I didn't have enough landfills. So it basically kept trying for, like, the split second I clicked. So it did ten times over or something, trying to, but nothing happened because I didn't have landfill. So don't do it. <laughs> don't do what again? I don't know, you could try it. I think I'm gonna just play this way for now on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's it's still faster than Colonel Will's base. Colonel? Colonel Will? I think that's how you pronounce it. I always say Colonel. Man, the amount of times I clicked it. So how many times did you click it to make me lag that long? I did it for like two seconds. You did it for like an hour there. <laughs> DJ just has the best comment. Hey, hey, it's Feed the Beast Infinity. Yeah, I, I always call him Colonel. Colonel. It, it, it even sp sounds right, but I know it's Colonel. I just don't. I hate how it's, you know. English language does not make any sense. Okay. Um, and I'm one of those idiots that, you know, is not smart enough to actually, you know, so I pronounce everything as is. I say what it is, not. You know what it should be. Other way around. 
Shut up. I'm an idiot. You don't have to point it out. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, back to research here. Um, what was I gonna work on? I think you said you were taking a break and maybe going to yeah. bed early. Yeah, I think that was it. I think some steel production. Actually, we just do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it over here. Yeah, we probably will never expand that anymore. <laughs> That's the problem, I guess. I have the uh, language skills of a foreigner, except English is my native language. Even worse, I was born in England. Oh, wow. What are you saying, oh, wow? You making fun of me, boy? <laughs> Hey, I was born in Korea. Uh, yeah, but you're friggin' f genetically modified, and we already know that. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's taking so long with this research. Like, I want to build, like, ten more labs. I'm disappointed in you, DJ. You're supposed to be number one here, not Pike. <laughs> hey, I've only played this game like... Oh. Three hours and 30 minutes, I guess, with your 30 minutes included? That's, yeah, pretty much. That's why I'm well, surprised that you're not end game yet time? here. Pardon? That's gonna be server time, be server time cause, I, cause I logged off and I'm the same time as you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's server time, that's true. Thanks for pointing out I'm stupid again. Never hurts. <laughs> it hurts inside. This is a problem with like these kind of games I like to make everything efficient. I mean, it's just like <laughs> Let's put it this you, way. We're not you're going in anywhere. Game, you can go efficient. Yeah. That's just uh, and let's, I'm just going to say, let's put it this way, we're, we're not going anywhere, well the server is not going anywhere, and this game will last you forever, like it's one of those games that you just, <laughs> it really is, like you'll, you'll put thousands of hours, well you might not personally, but it is one of those games that you can easily, if you choose to, put thousands of hours into it. Yeah. I like it, I like early games too, because we have auto save every thirty minutes. But there's like no lag to the saving because like we haven't explored anywhere. So and with our decent startup, we won't have to worry about that anyways for a while. Gee, is that enough? I don't know actually. Does everybody have it? Like, does it matter if everybody has it installed on an SSD and everything? Like, does it? Yes, it actually does, ish, because um, I think it delays it based on, like, the server saves it, but everyone else saves it. So if they're on, a, like, an old hard drive, I think everyone would lag because that person's lagging, because it's not, like, really threaded, I don't think, when the saving happens, because okay. of the nature of the game, right? Everything's on, like, a simulation. Everything has to pause for it to save. 
It's not like Minecraft where they can do like, you know, a bit at a time kind of silly thing. Per chunk or whatever. Which will we know what the cost of those are even on the tech mods. Some of the chunks save, but not all of them. You know, if the server crashes, there's some weird ass rollbacks. I did it! I did it! Um, I'm using Headless. I've been using it for a long time. Actually, we used to get a Headless because there you could do the Headless, but it didn't, you know you were forced to use all the libraries and all the other crap that was there before because it wasn't gutted out properly. And I used to uh, bug, uh, oh, what is his name, o Onyx or whatever his name is. And he used to send me builds, Ox, 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 Oxit, I forget his name. Anyways, he would send me builds on uh, IRC and we actually helped test it for a bit. And then he would fix any problems we have. And then, yeah. But yeah, we're using the headless Linux build right now on our server. That's why I like the factorial devs, because they like they work with you close in a way. I didn't make oh yeah yeah. They're they're always like they're always like those people that like you know, they want to be with the players and they you know they're part of the community and it's always been like a really nice thing just to you know have that that relationship with the players and the developers. I can't, I can't wait to see the dev blog tomorrow. I'm a little excited. I mean, it's probably not going to give us a lot of good numbers yet because it's only been a day, but I'm excited for the one after that actually more because we'll probably get a, a good idea of how they did, you know. Um, oh yeah, let's, let's copy these over here. Let's just let's just go like this. Steal off the belt. Ha <laughs> ha naughty me. You're supposed to always make a few like the higher you go up, the more of them you're supposed to technically make cuz they take longer to build, so not that I'm going to play math ratios here, but I thought I'd just make more anyways. I'm just letting people know that exists. Nice. I got my green, uh, finally, uh, done pike. Automated. Yeah. Probably not as good as yours, but... Mine's really shit. But, the thing is, you'll be going places. As long as it works, right? I actually miss, like, when I was completely... DJ... Well, no, DJ is too anal, so it won't work for him, but... I honestly miss my first time playing. Because... Yeah, sure, it was a lot of work learning everything, but I think the enjoyment was always trying to find a fix for my base because it was such a mess that I would always, like, it would be so close. So it would just be working on so many methods to be able to work in the, the, the re, you know, the constraints of, you know, my build. I thought that was the good days. Can research some oil now. That'll be fun working on that kind of stuff. So you guys on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And next time we're back, I don't know what we'll be working on, but we'll be definitely working on something. I might clean up or expand some of the base here. But uh, we'll definitely keep you in the loop, and we'll see you next time.